Do you have as many appliances as I do? Well, I don't know, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> If your situation is like mine, where you're overrun with appliances, I have a great hack that's gonna help you kind of corral them. So this is a coat closet that was in my house when I moved in. And I live in Southern California, so I don't use a lot of coats. <laughs> but what I do have a lot of is appliances. So let me show you what I did. So when I moved into this house, um, we had this huge, you know, closet. It's a, it was basically a coat closet and it had a big rod going across the closet. And my son, who's very talented at making things, he actually built me some shelves and put it all, I have one, two, three, four shelves. And then on the bottom, I actually have tile on all of my floor. And so I keep my pumpkins and my squash and things like that that need, need to stay nice and cool. And I know it probably looks like a big mess, but this is really how I corral all of my uh, appliances. I'm gonna show you a close up. And the problem that I have with this is that Right now, you can see because the light's on. You see, it's very difficult to see inside of the closet. It's hard to see the things that are in the back and it's hard to find little pieces of things and it just, just doesn't work real good. So I'm gonna take that Dollar Tree light and I'm gonna attach it to the wall so that it's really easy to come in and out and you know, be able to see the things that are in my closet, especially at night. So today we're gonna to be using a little uh, press light that I got from the Dollar Tree, along with some batteries that I got from the Dollar Tree. The whole thing is $2.50, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So you can uh, put a little, there's a little tape thing you can put on if you want this to sit on your on your wall, but, I like this little hook that it's got up at the top. Do is hang this this other little hook. Oh, it's a magnet on the back. So you can put it on the refrigerator too. So I'm just gonna hang one of these picture hooks and then I'm going to kind of hammer it down once I got this light on. So all I did was hammer in a little uh, picture hanger and let's turn it on and see how it works. Wow, let me turn the light off in this room to see if it makes a difference. Well, that's a nice bright light. It definitely helps me be able to see products and I probably should organize this mess of a closet that I have. It really is a mess. But I'll tell you what, I use everything in here. Let me turn it on for you again. So I wanted to show you, this is just one corner, but all he did was put this little wood piece all around where he set the shelves on, and then he kind of screwed them into these little pieces. And this is just some basic particle board. And honest to goodness, it hasn't sagged, nothing. And I put a lot of weight on these, on these shelves. It's just worked perfect. And these are my little pumpkins that I grew for the kids for Halloween. So that is my appliance closet. And if you are looking for a way to take advantage of some extra space in your house and you've got a coat closet that basically holds a bunch of junk or coats that you never wear, or if there's a way that maybe you can put your coats in some of your, either a mud room or even in your closet in your bedroom or a spare bedroom, this is a great way to kind of organize your appliances. So I hope you found this hack really uh, helpful to you. If you have a lot of stuff around the house and you're not quite sure how to organize it, that's a great way to take advantage of some extra space that you might not have thought of. So until next time, thank you again for joining me. Please like and subscribe my video. Comment if you have any other organizational ideas for 
that you do for appliances. I'm always looking for ideas myself and ring the bell for future notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.